Hey, Andrew. Hey, everybody. It's good to see you all today. I'm Pastor Whalen. And this I'm is Pastor Andrew. Jake. Okay, so anyway, if it's your first time here, we're so happy to have you. Feel free to text NL Guest to 97000, just a way for us to get to know you and say thank you for joining us this morning. Anyway, hey, we have a really awesome thing coming up here. On January 14th, we have water baptism coming up. If you have not been water baptized, now is the time to do it. Whether you just gave your life to Christ, or you've been a follower for a long time, Christ calls all believers to be water baptized. You can sign up by texting NLH20 to 97000, or by signing up on your connection card as well. Coming up on January 19th, that's a Friday night from five to seven, we are bringing back the Bounce House Bash. <laughs> It's going to be great. We're going to load out the gym with all of our amazing inflatables for kids up through fifth grade. Come on out. It's going to be a great time. Bring friends. Bring family. We would love to see you there. Yeah, and don't forget to invite some people from the community too because it's for them just as much. But also we have another super awesome thing coming out too. We have winter camp coming up February 2nd through 4th. The deadline is fast approaching for winter camp. It is January 17th. We need everyone to be registered. And so it, the cost is $160 per kid and there's a form to get filled out and everything is like that, but it's gonna be such a great time. Kids are gonna encounter God in a very real way and make very lasting connections, so you do not want to miss winter camp, sixth through 12th grade. Yeah, that is everything we've got for you guys today. Uh, stay tuned for a few more videos updating us on Kingdom Builders and the E3 conference, but you guys have an awesome Sunday. What did you do with Andrew? Oh. Uh -huh. Hey, 2024 is here, so excited about Kingdom Builders, trying to find some really creative and practical ways of building the Kingdom of God. The first thing that we're going to do is we are going on a missions trip to Mexico. Stop, Mexico border got closed. We're actually going to Tucson, but in Tucson, we're doing some different projects. We're working with the refugee camp. We're working at the Apache Reservation. We're also working with the homeless group, the Gospel Mission in Tucson, doing some different projects. Later on in the fall, we are going to Haiti. And so we'll be working with Kevin's in Haiti, doing some projects in Haiti. And then also we are doing what we've done every year, trying to go to City on a Hill. This month for Kingdom Builders, we're trying to raise $5,000 above our ties to help us do various projects in different mission fields around our world. So get excited, get involved. Pastor Jake will tell more about it right now. Hey, good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining us. We're going to continue to praise and worship God through our giving today. If it's your first time with us, we don't expect anything of you. We just want you to enjoy Sunday service. But if you're here and New Life is your church home, giving is a command that God calls us to be faithful and obedient to his will. I want to call our ushers down to the front of the room as we prepare to receive tithes and offerings this morning. We just finished watching a Kingdom Builders update video for the month of January with the missions projects that we are taking on for the year. As a church, we believe that giving the first fruits, that tithe, is the obedience that we are called to under God, but we also believe that he supplies us with more and that we are called to be generous with that and we are called to be generous with the church. And so any giving that goes above and beyond our 10% tithe goes towards Kingdom Builders, goes towards funding projects like the ones that you just heard about and so many more and so we encourage you to give towards Kingdom Builders and we thank you and appreciate your generosity. There are two places to give here at New Life. There's your tithes and offerings, that's that first 10% and there is Kingdom Builders which is anything beyond that. And there's four ways you can do your giving. You can give online at newlife906.com, text an amount to give to 84321, drop an envelope with the ushers when they make their way around or in any of the generosity boxes in the churches or you can give online through the Church Center app. I want to remind us at the start of the year, if you haven't yet set up online in recurring giving, it's fast, it's easy, it's convenient, and it takes just a little bit of time to do. Let's pray together before we move on. Father, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for all that you've blessed us with, and we pray Father, as we look to be even more generous uh, with projects and, and, and funding your kingdom this year, um, Father, we just pray that you meet the needs of us as a church, you meet the needs of us as a people, that you supply us uh, and you meet us and you provide for us so that we can provide for others, so that we can abound in generosity and be a people who abound in generosity, Lord. Uh, we ask you to meet us in our needs. We ask you to meet us in the things we seek to do for your kingdom, and it's in your name all God's people said. 
Amen. Well, once again, thank you so much for joining us. Take your phones out now. We are going to do a setup for E3. You can take a second here and get registered right now. Hey everyone, Pastor Waylon here. Very excited for the E3 conference that is coming up very soon. If you guys want to do me a favor, go ahead and pull out your phones. In a second, we're going to all sign up for the E3 conference together. There'll be a QR code that will show up on the screen in just a second. You can scan that QR code and it'll take you to a screen that looks like this. On this screen, you can see all the information you'll need to know about the E3 conference. You see a picture of our speaker there, as well as the cost and the date and times. If if you go down to the bottom, you'll see a little thing that says register. You go ahead and click register. It'll take you to a screen that will look something like this. It will either be your household information or it will ask you to log in or ask you to type in your name. Go ahead and either select your people or type in the stuff and then hit the next screen. On the next screen, you can see that it is a cost of $25 per person. If you want to pay right now and pay out the balance, you're more than welcome to, but at the same time, you don't have to. You can scroll down and hit pay later. And that way you can also just pay right at the door. And it's that simple. Once you've signed up for the E3, it'll be such a great time. You show up and then we're just going to be able to come together to be able to be equipped, empowered, and encouraged. Hey, if you were not able to make the church center thing work out, don't worry. You can sign up on your connection card or you can, after service, go out to the information table. There will be someone there that will be able to help you get registered for the E3 conference. Don't delay, sign up today. It's gonna be a great conference. You are not gonna to wanna to miss it.